here's a game that simulates real life, as money is literally just falling from the sky. One beautiful little dollar at a time. But if I want to increase that, I can add a bumper for $5. And it's a little hard to decipher this code, but I'm pretty sure it wants me to drag it right there. And now the dollar will hit that, and every time it does, it gains a dollar. Now if I very clearly touch this button, I can do it again, and we can add two to that. So now it's going to add $2 every time it touches the bumper. This is definitely going to get addicting. So we're going to add another bumper, which is a 1 times 1 multiplier. We're going to put that over there. That way, every time it touches that, it bounces up. That was a big dollar. We have $69 currently. I just had to say that out loud. So multipliers are probably better on the bottom. That way, numbers can get bigger before they multiply, because this is like 1.1 times. So it would be bigger if it's a bigger number. So I'm actually going to spend $50 unlocking it there and put that down there. And then I'm going to add a few bumpers. Here's another dollar up here. Uh, we're going to add a few more bumpers there. There's another dollar there, so they can bump around before hitting a 1.1 times multiplier hopefully either way i'm having way too much fun with this very simple concept oh also base income can go up so now it's two dollars falling from the sky uh so that's gonna help a lot now it's three dollars falling from the sky i wonder how big the numbers need to get before things break okay i'm gonna add we got more bumpers we can combine them here okay we can get a 1.3 times multiplier that's fine so it's only going to be a matter of time before things get really big. Okay, we're going to add another base income. Now it's a $4 base, which obviously is going to add up big, especially if it hits my magic multiplier that everything avoids. We're going to add another bumper. It's another multiplier. I don't really have a good spot for that right now. And $1 is still bigger than the 1.1. Oh, that one touched it. That was a big single drop. I don't know what that was, but it was pretty big. Wow, the money's actually coming in quite quickly. So let's add a whole bunch there. We'll add a dollar there. We'll add a dollar there. We'll add another dollar there. Wait. Uh, oh, you gotta stack them up evenly. We want $3 on the one that they all touch. We can really make this efficient with a bit of math. Uh, the other side of that is it's very late at night, so doing math, even basic math, is really hard. Basic income can go up. The higher that is, the more better it is we're going to put a multiplier here. So 1.3, I think it'd be worth $2 here instead, and obviously we have a $3 there, so it's still 50% better. Ooh, that one could get really big. It touched so many things. That was $49. Uh, yes, I got way too excited about $49. But we can add more bumpers and base income. Bumpers are obviously going to be the cheaper option, and they're going to add potentially a lot. I definitely want to add $2 ones to the outside. I kind of did this all backwards, but with a $3 one there, that way they can all multiply off that one, hopefully. Oh, I guess they can all be $3 up top. We've upgraded this one to 1.4 times as well, so we just needed to rain a little bit more money down. Base income can go up as well. I do really want this $500 one here. That would put our income up a lot just to have anything there, really. And at the rate this one's going, that might be quick. I don't see what that was ultimately, but the, a lot of them are touching 1.4 times now, which can be pretty big by the time they get down there. That one got up to about 30 something dollars fairly easily. Oh, we hit $500 already. Okay, we're going to unlock that slot. That's going to be a 1.2 times multiplier. So now if they touch both of them like that, and that, $59. And we already got a new bumper unlock, so that turns up to it's a 1.3 and a 1.4 times. Oh, that one just bounced between the two. It landed only at $52. There's a bit of a cooldown once it touches one. We're going to speed the whole process up by 5%, and yes, that is going to make quite a difference. Then we're going to spend more money on bumpers because we can always add more value. That's no problem. Since this is such a massively high-paced adventure, let's get another 5% speed. And base income can go up two more times, so now we'll get a base income of $9. And with that, let's add a few bumpers again. There's a very, very easy value to add to all of our rolls. Okay, we're going to add a $4 to the base one, so now it's going to be $4 for everything that falls through. So it's going to be an automatic $13 plus whatever else it touches. Oh, I didn't realize I could also upgrade that, so 1.4 and 1.4. Another 5% speed overall, so we're at 115% speed, so they're falling quicker than ever. That one went up to, I think, 80 something dollars. Uh, once they hit the multipliers now, especially if they hit the, like, an $80 hit the multiplier again and then again, those numbers could get really big. Let's upgrade our income to $10, if only for the sake of doing easy math. So now that 1.4 is equal to the $4 if it's their first hit. I'm kind of banking on them gaining a little bit of value here and there and following through, but you could certainly make an argument for having the multipliers up here instead. Or even you could go multiplier, multiplier, multiplier like that. Because then you might yield some much bigger results overall if they can just nicely multiply upwards. If it wasn't so late at night, this would make a lot more sense to my brain. Like I should really be paying attention to the number up here that tells me how much I'm earning. But where would the fun in that be? That one just sat on a multiplier that was up to $96. That was almost $100 for a single drop. That one did get into the hundreds. They turned yellow once they get over $100. 
So for about $3,000, let's increase the base income to $12. And then we want more bumpers because I'm really starting to like these multipliers a lot. So we can have a 1.3 times multiplier there and a 1.2 there. Yeah, we might be better to swap those out. Uh, it's a little hard to say at this point, but we'll go like that and see how this feels for a second. Uh, so for this, we'll go ahead and connect all these. So given that $5 is in, in the realm of 1.4, 1.2 probably doesn't need to be there. We could probably go something like that and then maybe that's better because then at least we have more high multipliers out there on the board. But it's going to get really hard to upgrade any of these, but they should be almost equivalent. It's just luck of the as of what hits what. That one got into like $300. There's another one, 17280. Every time it touches a multiplier at that point, they get so big. That one could be could be four hundred dollars. I couldn't even speak. I was so excited about that. I've never been so excited for a three-digit number in my life. There's the five thousand dollars we need to unlock a new bumper slot. We don't really have anything to put there, so we'll maybe go like that instead because they'll still gain some pretty big value here. But if they do manage to hit that extra one on the way down, actually that's going to increase a lot of income just in general. There's just a lot more bouncy things to touch. Uh, base income go uh, can go up one twice more times. It's up to fourteen dollars per drop. And they can really create a nice little bounce uh, system here where they just go back and forth against the wall and really multiply themselves. Quickly stockpiling another $1,500. Base income is going to be 15. That's going to help us with some easy math. $6,000 later, we're going to increase the speed just a touch. You know what? Let's just spend all of that. Uh, we still have got 2300 left over. We're at 130% speed and we can really feel the difference. And then the rest of that just on basic income. Now we're in the mid 50s uh, points per second, dollars per second. We're at 55 PS. And we're going to spend almost $3,000 on more bumpers, lots of multipliers, which is good. Because I'm really starting to feel like uh, multipliers, especially up in this spot, are the way to go. The original one can be $5, but by the time it's this amount, uh, multipliers are stronger. Although that may be wrong, because my dollars per second dropped to like 45 instead of 55 but in order to be right, I can just increase my basic income because obviously multipliers are stronger the higher the base income is. And it can depend too, like one or two big numbers can knock that thing all the way up to $73 a second. Even now we're up to $82 per second just because we had a few big ones get multiplied in there. Alright, just a little more basic income. We're at $21, $22 per drop. This is great. I looked away for like two seconds and now we have $11,000. So we'll add a bunch of bumpers because that seems like a cheaper choice. So we got a 1.4. We can drop a 1.5 on somewhere if we want. 1.5 is a big multiplier and I feel like multipliers really are better at the bottom. We should have smaller at the top. It really is luck based maybe. So we're just going to keep sticking things in places and eventually we'll be rich. Uh, we're going to do a $6 right here as well. Basic income is also going to go up to $24. So we're going to get $30. I just want the numbers to be as big as possible by the time they hit the 1.5 multiplier and then hopefully they hit that like 65 times. And the more chaos there is, the more they tend to bounce around and push each other into things, so we're going to increase the speed again. I do also realize now though that like if I put a 1.5 here instead, they're going to bounce up to uh, $12 instead of 6 so we initially get a giant or bonus. I really do feel like multipliers are going to be our friend here, but we'll see what the numbers actually say. Uh, yeah, that one hit over $1,000, so there might be something to this. So let's add some more bumpers. Uh, I was hoping for more multipliers than that, but these will come in handy eventually at some point. Uh, we can still get a 1.2 times, and that's going to add more than like that. By the time they get down there, it's all about the multipliers. Oh yeah, look at that now. We're up to like $260, $250 a second. Getting lots of yellows falling through now though. That one could get real big, over 1000 Okay, we got about $26,000, so basic income is going up to $29. They're going to be so big now. Those multipliers just get so delicious. Individual bumper buys are $1,100, $1,200 now though. So that's going to add up. Add up to more big numbers. 1.3 times is the lowest multiplier we have now. I just saw one fall through. I think it was about 8,000 and basic income can go up again. So it's getting $15 as soon as it lands on the first one every single time. Painstakingly saved up $50,000. So that means we can buy another spot here. Every once in a while one does that, it just balances on top of a circle and this goes crazy. But having an extra multiplier down there, even just a 1.2, is adding a lot of value. We're seeing lots into the thousands at this point, which means it's fairly easy to save up $60,000. So I'm going to increase the speed by a further 10% and we're going to add a whole bunch of bumpers, not getting a lot of multipliers, however. But now we'll hopefully get more multipliers and we can work into, yeah, once we get a few more bigger multipliers, they are really going to skyrocket. Kind of tempted to add a 1.5 times multiplier like here because so many of them bounce off each other and get big quickly. Uh, not really sure. Again, it's just sort of luck anyways how they're going to touch each other. I still think it's better to have them at the bottom. That way, once the numbers hopefully get really big, they just touch one of those and get a 50% bonus on the way out. 
Should really try and get some of these ones in the middle above 1.3 though. It'd be fairly easy to get them up to 1.4 and that would make a huge difference. Well, this one over here is going to be a 1.4. I'm going to swap those back around and we'll just let it bounce for a while. Saved up another 1.3, so we got 1.4 uh, minimum at the top, 1.3 is in the center, 1.4, 1.5 on the bottom. I think speed might be the best upgrade right now because two upgrades here of equal cost, this would be about like a, mm, a little less than 10% increase up here, whereas this would be a little bit less than 10% in theory. Mm, but that's my tired math brain at work, so we're going to get two of those and two of those anyway and then more speed again. I've been saving for a while and wondering for even longer what next level means. So now that I have her over, it can actually tell us. So it's a game reset. I didn't actually mean to click on that so quickly, but now we have much better bumper alignment. So we're going to add some bumpers and get to work. And it didn't take as long to save up $1,000. So we have another spot for more bumpers and we got all sorts of multipliers out of this one. So one side becomes 1.3, this becomes 1.4, and we got another one or whatever that one is down there. Hopefully we find another one of those soon so we can throw it down there. And that didn't take long at all, and we even found one to increase this side. This is the big money side. Basic income is also going to go up by a lot. That's up to $20, so $8 is hardly worth it anymore. It still is, but not for long. A few thousand dollars later, let's buy a whole bunch of these because we need some bigger multipliers out there. Okay, we get another 8, so we get a $10 right off the bat. And we're at $20, so this is a 1.5 times uh, equivalent, basically. So if we get a little higher, that won't be actually be worth it anymore. I'm going to drop a 1.4 down over here. I might actually... Okay, we're up to $28, so the 10 can actually leave now. We're going to put a 1.4 there, 1.3 there. So that one can increase as well. Uh, you know what? Let's do the big one on that side. So it's plus 4 and a 1.2 times multiplier. The money's definitely going up quicker, especially as the base income goes up. Those multipliers mean a lot. I guess some speed. It's only $250, so we can get 115 times speed. I've increased our base income up to $38 as well, so every multiplier is getting real big. So let's do that a few more times. $42 for the base. So when we touch that, it turns into $62. Honestly, this one isn't really worth it. I'd rather just have a multiplier there. Plus 2 and times 1.10. Let's just get 1.2. Uh, when numbers are that big, it's worth it. So at this rate, it didn't take us very long to make $10,000. So we can unlock one more bumper. We got $3,300 left over. So we're going to hopefully find some more multipliers. So down there of any kind at all. I will take a 1.3 times multiplier down there. 5 and 1.25 is not bad though either. Not on the bottom row. Whoops, did I put I put that in the wrong spot, didn't I? All right, well, that's going to go there. I'm getting very tired because it is very late. At the top, it's actually close. It becomes 61 with this green tile with the 1.4. It was 62, so it's only off by a dollar on the first touch. So let's increase the speed a whole bunch, grab a few more bumpers. That 1.2 can add this, so we get a 1.3 on this side. We could actually make a 1.5 in total, but we don't want to take away too many bumpers. This one is so good for income, though. We can buy these like rapid fire. I didn't realize there's multiplier zones at the bottom either because I've been asleep at the wheel for the past six hours. But that would explain why the income is going up so high. I thought it was just stupid. Okay, well, there's another 1.3. We're going to turn that one up right here. Now we got about $25,000 to spend on basic income. It is now up to 56. Pretty sure the bigger multiplier is going to be better here again. E yeah, it certainly is. We'll leave it over here because it's still a multiplier. Uh, it's still better there because we need that as a secondary hit then. And we're going to keep on buying these. Now we can make a 1.4 times multiplier down there. We can stack all these up into something we're never going to use. I'm going to buy more bumpers because I want more multipliers. I'm just going to trash the red ones. They're just not going to be worth it anymore. And they do have over $100,000. So we're going to uh, spend to unlock that. But I also want more multipliers then too. I do want to get rid of this one up top and just have more multipliers everywhere. So this one down here can be a 1.3 times multiplier. This one we will build up to something better soon. But now we got all the bumpers we could ever want. We did at least get it up to a 1.3 times multiplier. That is satisfactory for now. Although I'm starting to make money just about faster than I can even spend it. Alright, so the, that one's going to go. We're just going to store that away. It might come in handy one day again. And we're going to start to stack things together. Because maybe we can eventually build something big enough to be worth it. While we're at it, let's upgrade speed another 10%. We're going to drop a 1.5 down right at the top. So now everything that lands gets an instant 50% increase. And basic income can also go up again. And one more time, so it's an even $60. So we get $30 as soon as it touches the first one and they keep on multiplying from there. They also get nice multipliers at the bottom because they don't really slip out of the uh, multiplier zones very often. We got another $110,000. I'm going to buy a few levels of speed and we're going to increase income up to $68 per drop. And then we're going to let this run for the next 12 hours and see what kind of big number we come back to. Many, many hours later, I accidentally clicked the base income button, but we have $33 million to spend. 
The first thing I think we should do is turn the speed up just a little bit. It's getting expensive quickly. We can already see our big number dropping at the top, but we got 200% speed. Now we'll turn the basic income up a whole bunch. We'll just keep an eye on the money until it drops about halfway. Okay, we went uh, more than halfway because I wasn't paying attention. These get so expensive. The income's only up to $128 now. But we're definitely making lots of money. We'll see if we can add some bumpers to the equation to get some bigger multipliers. We very quickly built up to a 1.5 times multiplier that we can add here for now, 1.6, and let this run for a minute. I had to step away for a minute, and I've come back to find $980 billion. Now that doesn't really seem to make sense in my head, but when you look at the price per second, you realize that one of these could have got caught in a bumper and turned into almost a trillion dollars. So let's try and turn our base income up, and yes, that's actually nearly a trillion dollars. So we can turn our base income way, way up, and only now does that number start to move when we're buying $200 million upgrades. I accidentally made a trillion dollars. I really did not expect that to happen. Maybe if we turn a speedway up, that will also break things. So we're going to get 300% speed rate, so they're all going to get jumbled up. Maybe they can just jam up and sit against the bumpers if they get fast enough. We're going broke quickly. We're at under $100 billion. I guess I should actually incorporate one of these in too. So we have a 1.5 times multiplier on the bottom as well now. And we're going to have a 1.5 times multiplier on the right side. That one jumped over $6,100 and then didn't make it before it fell. Ooh, we can get another 5% speed boost though. These upgrades get so expensive. I painstakingly gathered together another 1.4 times multiplier, so we got a 1.5 pretty much everywhere. I feel like income has reached an appropriate level where we can afford the $1 million to move on to an even better map. This one's fun. Look what it has. It's got multipliers naturally floating around it. These are 1.5 times. So if it bounces through the two 1.5s, I think that would turn into $18 if I did saw that correctly. Uh, whatever the case, we're going to add a bumper. I'm almost better off just to let them drop straight through that by turning our base income up $4 at a time. I've accidentally given us a new slot here too as well, but so far I don't actually have any bumpers on this level. It's just stupid how powerful this level is. So when you want to add some bumpers, which are going to be pure multipliers, oh, we got a minus tie and a big multiplier. Those are going to be fun buttons. I guess we'll add a 12 to the beginning. Uh, I feel like it's going to bounce away from the important things though, like when they're never going to go through both the multipliers, so we're actually going to take that away. That's stupid. At least I'm pretty sure it is. So that goes minus 12, but times 1.6. So if the base income goes up high enough, that's absolutely worth it. It's probably already there. Added a whole bunch of bumpers. We'll give it some extra speed. We're just making such stupid money so quickly. It doesn't really matter what we do. Okay, base income is up to $52 already. But if I want to put a bumper in, we can boost it here. Now it'll turn into 64 and then hit multipliers on the way down. We have a 2 times and 1.5 times on the bottom. So we'll get started with some actual bumpers. These ones are going to be important. Actually, maybe we'll do it down there because then it can bounce around with this 1.5 as well. I can also unlock this bumper already. We're just making money really quickly. So we'll add some more multipliers. So we're up to 60 base value and now things are starting to bounce around nicely in between. I see, they're going to get funneled down into the arrow, so they're hopefully going to touch things like that a lot. So we're definitely making money very quickly. We got a lot of multipliers there. That was really good for us. 1.3 is going right there. That one turned into pretty big. I think that turned into almost $1,000 all by itself. And for now, I'm just going to continue to buy bumpers because these are a very slow process to put them all together. But we can actually turn this into minus 20, but times 2. So it's going to lose $20, but then multiply itself by 2. So when you get a high enough base value, that's actually worth it. But we can also afford the uh, final bumper spot, so we're going to put that there. So now we have maximum potential for earnings here. And actually, I can swap out my top one there. This is a plus 5 and 1.2 times multiplier, but as the base income goes up as well, even that's not really worth it anymore. If I had better multipliers to replace it with, I absolutely would. For now, it's still just a benefit. There's nothing wrong with having it there. I am going to swap this one out there. We're going to put the 2 times multiplier on. So they're becoming uh, really big as soon as they touch that. And they don't really bounce back to it. Even if they do, it's still worth it to double their value because they lose 20, but double. Look how big that one got already. So it's probably actually worth it to have more of these lower down. Like we could put a 1.6 times multiplier there. They'll lose $12, but they're worth in the thousands by then anyway. So they're way making up for it with the multiplier. And since this one's only a 1.2 anyway, let's put this 6 plus 1.25. That's just a big enough multiplier to justify something probably and we'll start to work on this one over here and uh, this one can be a 1.4 times i didn't realize we already had three hundred thousand dollars. that's really going up so we're going to spend that all on base income then it's not going to matter what we do 156 dollars out of this guy uh we've already made sixty four thousand dollars back we can also finally move this down here so it's a two times multiplier as well so we're just going to stick that maybe right there 
we love multipliers, so we always need to find them a good home. This one's up to a 1.3 times multiplier, so it's there. The plus 7 doesn't mean much now, but the 1.3 does. But from this point forward, it's all purples. We need pure multipliers and nothing else. Speaking of which, we're going to have a 1.5 times multiplier up top, so we're getting really big multiples before they fall down. I'm going to take this 1.3 and put it there, and I'm going to put a 1.4 here. That way we got big multipliers on the bottom too. So if things get jiggled around enough uh, amongst all of these, they will multiply hugely quick. We've officially made a million dollars, so our base income is going to go way up again, $192. I didn't realize how low our speed was still. We just added like 50% spawn speed as well. We need things to get messy in the middle so they can all jam up and multiply bigly. Okay, I got a few more multipliers. We're going to turn this one into a 1.6 times multiplier. And we're going to turn that one into 1.4 times multiplier. Although the times twos would be nice. Maybe we should build up some more pink ones. It's definitely a quicker way to get upgrades at this point. We'll do purples and pinks only. And that sucks because I'm really getting annoyed at having to do this endlessly. But a 1.6 is we're just going to straight up trash that one. We don't need that anymore. Greens are going. Then a 1.4 for the bottom. So we get a nice 1.5 times multiplier. There's so many multipliers on the board. We do have another 1.4 times, so that's going down there. We got a 1.5 times multiplier already. Also, we got $12 million, so basic income is going up to $240. The one down here just turned purple. It hit in the hundreds of thousands. That one's also going to do pretty well. I think at this point, it's also obviously worth it to put like a bigger multiplier down here. So that one's going to be a 1.6, and this is going to be a 1.8. $16 off of these numbers is not consequential at all. Also, we're going to make them drop fast so they can all get messed out. They're at 200% spawn right now. That one's 136 times 1.5, so it's like 190,000. We also have a 2 times multiplier here, so I'm going to smash those two together. That's a 1.7 with no downside. There's a uh, 2 times multiplier at the bottom. We got a lot of double multipliers. And this one down here is now a 1.6 times multiplier. We have nothing less than a 1.6 times multiplication on the board. So the numbers are getting really big, really fast, and income is absolutely running away on us. So the next level is going to be even better. So this is an interesting setup. It's got 1.5 times multipliers on either side as well. So we have incredible potential here. We can even turn our base income up to $24 already. So it's $54 falling from the sky, and that's going up even more. Uh, last time we had to spend like tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions, to get to this kind of base income. And I bet the bumpers are going to be insane on this one. We already have 1.4 times multiplier. We're going to fill it down right away. It's worth it. For now, we are going to have this one just because it's going to add some money. But look at that. That jumped up to triple digits very quickly. Just to get us going, I'm going to throw down some useless bumpers everywhere. Uh, just because we can, but we're already unlocking all of these spaces. And of course, we're going to give ourselves a little more speed. We're just got a 25% speed increase and we're up to $120 base income. We've unlocked another slot down there. We're going to put a 1.6 times multiplier. We should maybe swap some of these around. Uh, it's fine. We're going to make so much money no matter what we do. We quickly made the 25,000 we need for that slot. And this one we can unlock as well. Then it's just a matter of finding the right multipliers to jam in there. That one can be a 1.3. This can be a 1.2. This one in the center is now a 1.6 times multiplier. Okay, I do have a basic $32 that's got to go because that's not worth it anymore. This will add hundreds of value, if not thousands each touch. Now we can start to get some bigger multipliers going. We're going to go back to our same strategy as before, adding only uh, pinks and purples. But if we put our base income up, wow, we had a lot of money. I didn't realize we had so much. Okay, so now we're going to drop to 380 and then double. So these numbers are going to get really, really big really quickly. Uh, $40,000 a second. I think we're going to start making money faster than we could spend it. Uh, we're going to put those two together, put a 1.3 times there, and attempting to put those two together as well, but we'll get there. We can build up a 1.6 times multiplier so fast, we're just going to throw that down there anyway. I feel like I blinked, we made another $60 million, so basic income is going to go way up again. 544 base. We're definitely making some of these, are getting into the hundreds of thousands if not millions now, so we need more bumpers. And more speed especially, I didn't realize how low on speed we were still. 1.6, there is a 1.8 times multiplier up top. Uh, we're eventually going to replace all of these purples with pinks. We're maybe going to start doing that now, because the multipliers are just too big to ignore. So anything that's not pink is getting tossed out, and that's going to be easy for my brain. Like, uh, these will just combine there, and now it's a 1.6 times multiplier instead. We lose $24, but that's like 0.001%. Now we got two 2 times multipliers at the top, so those two can play off each other real big. And even our lower ones now, we're going to start getting up to 2 times multipliers. Uh, we have a jam up up top, they're literally stuck. Oh, there they go again. <laughs> they actually backlogged and got jammed up. That one's at 7.6 million already. I don't know how to fix the problem. We broke the game. We need more speed. That'll force things through. Pressure's going to build up. It's building. Ooh, there we go. That's at 100 million, billion. Uh, what did that land at? 20, 20 billion? 50, well, we have 120 billion dollars. That's all that matters. So we're going to increase our basic income. I almost need to use an auto clicker just to increase the basic income number. Uh, you know what? In fact, we might implement that. 
Uh, so we're just gonna force things through. Well, the, yeah, there we go. The pressure builds up until things have to get out. Well, well, the big mess sorts itself out over there. I'm going to continue to add multipliers so that when that stuff does break loose, I can take advantage of it fully. My money per second is hurting so bad because they're so jammed up. So we'll add a little more speed in there, see if we can force that stuff out. Now they're getting jammed up further down, where I think the back and forth thing could actually continue to touch them. Yep, it does. It's a push touch every time it goes back and forth. So these numbers are going to get really big. Now I want to jam up this day, because it's going to get a 50% multiplier every time it shimmies back and forth. So that could turn into unlimited infinity. Could actually, that one's up to 1.9 billion. Now it's up to 5.7 billion. It's also touching a two times multiplier below it. Eight, there's nine billion. Think it's going to fall off here. Very sad, but that was probably 100 billion by the time it was done. All I'm hearing is that I need bigger multipliers, so that went from 1.3 to 1.6. So this is working out pretty good so far. Everything's getting really jammed up. I wish I had a slider up here, so we're going to add a little bit more speed to the equation to get even more numbers jamming up up there. Basic income obviously is getting expensive, but we're over $900 per base drop. Yeah, I just had a big one slip through obviously because we jumped up to 46 trillion. We were somewhere in the billion, so something multiplied real big. A few minutes later, I've been mindlessly combining things into bigger multiplications, and we're up to 241 as, which I think is quadrillions. So that means we can afford a lot of new upgrades, so speed can go way up, so we can have even bigger jam ups up top. Also, basic income's also got to go up a lot. My numbers are starting to spill up and like getting behind the menu over here, so I'm not sure what to do about those. Uh, we'll mostly just let them play over there while I continue upgrading things endlessly. So I've even finally added up to a 2.4 multiplier here, so we can have a 2.6 multiplier right at the top, where a lot of things tend to touch. Uh, we're getting a lot of numbers over here that are hitting the bumpers in my menu too, which is really funny. While also building up to 650 quintillion dollars. I've also realized that the numbers spilling over to the bumpers in the menu, yeah, I can just sit here and go like this and manipulate them. So I can sit here and bump this on a two times multiplier for as long as I want. I'm not sure if it counts its value once it falls out of the menu because obviously there's not a collector down below, but we'll see a pretty big number as it scoots on by. I know like five minutes ago it was at AG from AB. Uh, AG is obviously a number so big that I don't even know the name of it. So at this point I do try want to try and let it fall through. I don't know if that was it or not. There's something jammed up in behind there. We need to let some of these through. I can't really see what they are. Uh, they're clearly not counting because they fall this way but that was up to AG. It's probably up to AZ by then. So I don't know what that was but it's a number of so many zeros it wouldn't even fit on the screen. I realized though I can sort of do the same thing if I take this bumper and put it back. It's a 2.6 times multiplier so we can sort of supercharge the beginning numbers. And and let them jiggle around. So every time they touch that, 2.6 times multiplier. Don't know if this is better or not, but it's fun. Well, I feel pretty satisfied that I've sufficiently broken this amazing Flash game.